Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Anticrop. It has 4.5 stars in the App Store and it's for all iDevices, which means iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, just in case you were wondering. Okay, let's get into it. Anticrop is a very interesting app. Rather than cropping your photos down, it expands it out, or you rotate it so the image is flat without losing any of the picture. Kind of cool. So the way you use this app is very simple. When you are in the main menu, you can either select open from gallery or take photo from camera. If you selected open from gallery, it takes it from your camera roll and you choose a photo to edit from there. Or if you select take a picture from camera, it allows you to take a picture right there. Once you have chosen or taken a picture, you then come to an editing screen. In the lower left, there's a button. If you tap on it, you can choose the presets. If you don't want to choose the presets, you can just drag the rectangle where you want it to to add more to your photo. In the lower right, there's a button that looks like an arrow on a piece of paper. If you tap on it, it shows you what your photo looked like before you changed anything. At the top of the screen, there is an undo and redo button. Those are self-explanatory. Once you're done adding to your photo, you press save. Here you can save your photo to the library, email it, post it on Facebook, Twitter, or Flickr. Now that you have done that, you are done editing your photo, and that is all that you can do in this app. So keep watching for the final verdict, and after that, stay tuned for some more epic photos that were edited in this app. This app is a pretty amazing app. Well, the concept is pretty amazing. The app executes cropping kind of poorly. You're gonna see some photos after I stop talking and they're, they kind of look kind of bad actually. It might be because I have a horrible camera on the iPhone, I mean iPod Touch 4, but they still look kind of bad. They're all blurry and stuff. So take a look and I'll let you decide if you should buy it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe or rate and comment. And I'll see you in the next review.